Hi students, a very good morning. I am Chegu Kumana. I am an English teacher. I've been teaching English for past 32 years in rural and urban areas. So I have a lot of experience to share with the students. How to write a very simple essay. So I would like to share my experience telling you the techniques of writing simple English essay. This is because I find that many students nowadays are very weak in English. They are not really competent and fluent in speaking in English or writing English essay. So, before I start sharing with you step by step the way to write a very simple English language and also I will teach you to write the best English essay or excellent English essay so before I start for this first introduction lesson or episode I would like to only to start with telling students about the importance of learning English language. This is because nowadays many students are not aware about the importance of learning English language. So, before I start my le proper lesson, let me explain why English is important for students. Okay, now I will explain about the importance of English language for these two students. Okay, first of all, English is very important for further studies. Those students who wanted to further studies either in university or colleges, they need to have a strong credit in English. Okay. Students must remember after universities, uh, sorry, after finishing your SPM examinations, you can apply for local or foreign universities. For example, you can apply for UITM, UTP, University Technology Petronas, and other local universities. Okay, uh, when you apply for local university or you want to apply to study in foreign countries okay you need to have a strong credit in english and also you must be able to command in english very fluently it is very important they call it passport for you to study your to, to further studies okay so sometimes you might apply for colleges for example teachers training college so here you still need to have a strong credit in English okay uh, if you like to further your studies form 6 to further your studies after SPM to continue to form 6 okay or SPM you need to take MUET as you know MUET is a compulsory subject for students to take so MUET is Malaysian University English test so it is very clear that to further your studies, you need a strong credit in English. It is a passport for you for further your studies. Secondly, why English is important? It is important to surf in internet. Because nowadays, we are living in the world of uh, technological era. Okay, in the world of in the digital world, so we need to have okay strong command of English to surf internet. This is because information is borderless, so you can get information through internet. Okay, those as you know, most of the internets okay is in English lang language. So with good command of English, it will be easier for you to get information to do your assignment or to do your coursework when you enter universities or colleges. Okay, so 
that's the reason English is very important. Okay, uh, last but not least, why English is important? English is important for job appli application. Okay, uh, so once you finish to further your studies, I'm sure you will apply for jobs. Those who study in universities definitely they want to apply. Okay, jobs, okay, and professional fields. Professional fields here means those jobs related to Delta. Student might think, what is Delta? Delta here means, number one, D, doctor, to become a doctor in any field, okay, any doctor. Number two, engineer. Okay, yeah, if students want to or study, okay, okay, or become chemical engineer, mechanical engineer, electric and electronic engineer you need strong credit in english if you want to apply for law want to become lawyer you need to have strong credit in english okay next if you want to become a teacher whether in schools or in higher institution you to become a lecturer you need strong command of in english okay and last but not least if you want to become a an architect or an accountant you still need to have a strong credit in english so it is very clear to get a good job in english okay especially professional courses you need to have good command in english you need to be fluent writing and speaking in english okay uh, some students okay they might not be okay able to do professional courses but still if they apply jobs to become a policeman okay firefighter and army officer they still need to get credit in english before they apply for job so english is a must for them in the few future okay uh, and you must remember when you go for interview for interview to get scholarship or to get a job the interviewer will ask you i'm sure they will ask you some questions in, in in english so you need to answer the to to speak in 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 english to answer their question so dear student please bear in your mind okay english is very important for you to further studies okay for you to surf the in internet last but not least for job apply application so please okay pay more attention to study to improve your english language okay uh, now i want to i okay sekarang izinkan saya deh untuk bercakap dalam bahasa melayu terutamanya untuk pelajar-pelajar yang kurang fasih bahasa ing inggris dan tidak faham apa yang saya perkatakan sebentar tadi Sebenarnya bahasa Inggeris adalah satu mata pelajaran yang sangat penting untuk pelajar-pelajar terutamanya pelajar-pelajar yang ingin melanjutkan pelajaran. Sama ada nak memasuki dalam institut pengajian dalam negara, institut pengajian tinggi dalam negara ataupun luar negara. Mereka perlu menguasai penggunaan bahasa ing Inggeris. Okay. Nombor dua, mengapa cikgu kata bahasa Inggeris penting untuk pelajar-pelajar? Ini adalah untuk melayari internet. Sekiranya pelajar-pelajar masuk universiti, sememangnya pelajar-pelajar perlu membuat banyak assignment, tugasan yang diberikan oleh pensyarah atau guru-guru. Tahukah tu pelajar-pelajar assignment-assignment ini kebanyakannya terdapat maklumatnya terdapat dalam in internet. Jadi adik-adik kena melayari in internet. Apabila melayari internet, kebanyakan maklumat adalah dalam bahasa in Inggeris. Sekiranya adik-adik tak fasih bahasa Inggeris, bayangkan apa akan berlaku. Akan ketinggalan. Mungkin gagal dalam mata pelajaran tersebut. Eh? Okey, selain daripada itu, bahasa Inggeris juga penting untuk job application. Maksud saya di sini ialah untuk meminta sesuatu pe pekerjaan. Contohnya pekerjaan yang berkaitan dengan Delta. Sememangnya pelajar-pelajar yang keluar dari universiti ingin mencari pekerjaan-pekerjaan berbentuk profesional seperti menja ingin menjadi doktor, engineer, lawyer, teacher, 
accountant atau panggil delta secara ringkas. Jadi se kita tidak boleh menafikan kesemua pekerjaan-pekerjaan itu memerlukan, okey, majikannya memerlukan pekerjanya, okey, bercakap dalam bahasa ing Inggeris. Sekiranya adik-adik tidak pandai bercakap bahasa Inggeris, akan ketinggalan. Mungkin tidak akan dapat pe pekerjaan. Ya? Menganggur. Okey, ha, jadi adik-adik kena ingat. Okey, uh, uh, interview ataupun temu ramah juga biasanya dilakukan dalam bahasa ing Inggeris. Jadi sekiranya adik-adik tidak fasih bahasa Inggeris, bagaimanakah adik-adik akan dapat membaiki ataupun menghadapi masa depan? Okey, ha, kerana bahasa Inggeris sangat pen penting. So I hope, please student, I hope you under understand. Adik-adik jangan takut. Saya pernah tengok ramai pelajar-pelajar yang lemah dalam bahasa Inggeris tetapi atas daya usaha mereka, mereka berjaya. Adik-adik pun pastinya boleh berjaya. Janganlah menganggap bahasa Inggeris ini bahasa asing, bahasa mat saleh. Apabila kita mempelajari bahasa Inggeris, kita akan menjadi mat saleh. Tengoklah saya, 32 tahun mengajar bahasa Inggeris, masih lagi berkulit gelap itu. Kena boleh cakap bahasa Inggeris, boleh kecek bahasa Kelate, kena bahasa Tamil, bahasa Inggeris. Okey, itu semua adalah satu kelebihan bagi saya. Dan adik-adik kena ingat, the more languages you learn, the better person you can be. You can be a very knowledgeable person. Jadi sekarang ini masih tidak terlewat. Adik-adik boleh mempelajari bahasa Inggeris dengan usaha. Saya pasti adik-adik boleh lulus bahasa Ing Inggeris dengan cemerlang dalam peperiksaan peperiksaan yang akan datang. Okey, setakat ini sajalah untuk sesi ini yang ingin saya berkongsi. Okey, this is the introductory session. So I just want to talk about the importance of English language for student. Okey, saya ingin nak berkongsi sedikit idea ataupun memberi sedikit, okey, pengetahuan kepada adik-adik tentang kepentingan bahasa Inggeris supaya dapat menanam minat tentang kepentingan bahasa Inggeris. Okay, so this slot is just to create a simple awareness among students about the importance of learning English language. Biarlah kita pandai bahasa Inggeris. Okay, dan ini boleh membantu anak cucu kita juga akan pandai bahasa ing Inggeris. Okey, selepas ini dalam slide-slide yang berikutnya saya akan membincangkan teknik-teknik membuat karangan yang paling mudah terutamanya kepada pelajar-pelajar yang lemah dalam bahasa ing Inggeris dan saya sangat-sangat sangat okey berharaplah dapat membantu pelajar-pelajar untuk lulus mata pelajaran bahasa Inggeris. Okay, penggunaan bahasa Melayu dalam slot ini adalah untuk memudahkan pelajar-pelajar memahami apa yang saya perkatakan. Saya tidak mahu pelajar-pelajar membuka internet ni melihat apa yang di diberkatakan dalam bahasa Inggeris tidak faham kemudian tutup internet dengan ada idea dalam fikiran syok sendiri cikgu tu cakap bahasa Inggeris. Saya cakap bahasa Inggeris supaya pelajar-pelajar faham. Faham. Okay. Thank you. Okay, student. That's all my first slide about the importance of English language. Okay. After this, okay, following slides, I will talk one by one. Few techniques, simple, very simple techniques. How to write a simple essay. Okay. Simple essay, average essay and an excellent essay. Okay, I hope students will follow my slide. Okay, I will divide into few episodes. You follow and I am sure after following it and doing some exercises. This is because in our next slides, next episode, every episode, I will provide you some simple exercises how to write a essays. Directed essay, continuous essay, summary Okay, and so on. So, okay, I hope all the students will follow, okay, this slide. Thank you for listening. See you in next slide on how to write simple essay using one situation. Thank you very much. 
okay student now you can see why english is important for your you future i hope after listening to my explanation about the importance of english language okay so i am sure okay i am 100% sure that student will now pay more attention to improve your english language this is very clear okay that you need english in the future especially after you leave your schooling life okay so that's all the introductory about the importance of english language okay after this our next session or our next slide okay i am going to tell you how to write a simple essay okay? it is a very simple technique whereby you will use only one technique to write multiple essay okay i will continue with my next episode about